Yeah, that's, that's awesome, man. And I think it's funny because, or interesting, I should say, because with the YouTube fitness, that's how I think a lot of people got into natural bodybuilding. Like, I think Matt is someone who put a natural bodybuilding on the map early on, on and physiques of greatness, like for the people who know what that is, even is, yeah, he, it's like, yeah, that's like going even further He's back, old. right? He's yeah, people old. know him as, pu- pu- yeah, exactly, right? Pump chasers now, right? So it's, um, it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool man oh, that, that like, was the, the heyday man 2013 you had matt versus you had august versus jones um lovato was like making hilarious videos like yeah man good times you know i'm good. glad that i came up in that time you know and then you know for me everything i hit my stride really like 2015 2016 instagram started blowing up but I, but i preferred youtube it was a lot back then it wasn't as difficult as it is now because i feel like you don't like now you gotta edit stuff and you gotta make stuff look very uh visually appealing and eye catching and it's got to be quick you know back then you just could film something on your phone and put it up and then like the editing it didn't have to be like it has to be today you know and um even though the phone quality wasn't nearly as good as it is now something about like the 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 package just has to be more polished it feels like back then it was more raw but uh i still like every now and then we'll look at some of my old vlogs and be like damn why do i not vlog anymore like i really enjoyed it I was just going to say, if you're going to bring that back, because I know that you had meant not to put you on blast, by the way, but you had mentioned that you were going to document the whole thing on YouTube. Uh, this I did. Friday. I recorded this whole season. <laughs> I haven't posted a single one. Oh, no way. So are you going to put it up? Yeah, I am. I So I recorded every show and then clips in between every show, a couple of vacations. And I, I have all this content. I just, I don't know, man, my son, he edits my videos. He's lacking. <laughs> yeah blame blame a kid man that's the that's how you do it that's how you do it you know it's it, it's hilarious because um as far as with you with what you had mentioned there with youtube like you know i blame will smith you know he comes on youtube now and you have all these celebrities that are doing these crazy cinema uh, uh cinematic you know movie like youtube yeah. videos that are like three minutes long 10 minutes long whatever it is it's like man, nah, no bro. wonder why youtube you gotta, fitness is tired. you gotta blame christian guzman and david laid man these these guys are bringing literally uh what's what's that um director's name christopher nolan videos to youtube yes you know? yes yes yeah jeff nippard another one right oh yeah his videos are very so like the way that he makes them both entertaining and informative at the same time is uh is not something everyone can do you know he really took the time to learn how to edit like that and how to create videos like that. And then, you know, and he taught Stephanie and uh, then he has Rayshawn uh, filming. You know, it's just, must be nice. You, I, I, <laughs> tell your son, bro, step up your game, tell him. I know. It's, but, you know, <laughs> it all comes down to how you film it too. You have to plan ahead, you know, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I, believe it or not, I never take a second take. Like, the way I record it is the way I record it the first time it is raw. And I, but I just need to put it out there because people like that. As long as I cut it up the right way, like David Dobrik, yeah, you've probably seen his videos. Yeah, yeah. I like how he's four minutes and 19 seconds of nonstop entertainment. You know, if you, if I just get on there and we have this long format of like talking too much, it just gets too boring, you know? Well, that, that's but, a pod, that's in a way not the boring part because my podcast is, this podcast is epic, right? But it's, it, fire, it, it, bro. It, it, yeah, it's fire, so right? And I'll wait <laughs> to hear what Chris Elkins is going to say next. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing right it's um you know i think with youtube it, it, it's it, like you said it's changed it, it's totally changed now if it's not like this um trailer like video uh, or movie kind of thing it's it's tough yeah. right it, it, you know just then, then then it turns into yeah it's kind of like a, a it should be in the podcast kind of on those apps but, right but the thing is i i did daily vlogs in 2018 i did it for like 50 days straight i didn't even miss a day there was a couple of days where like all right guys the video today is only going to be a few minutes I just want to tell you, it was super busy today. I got caught up in work. Here's what's going on with this, this, and this. I'll see you in the next video. And it was like only a few minutes long, you know, Um, because I didn't want to miss up that streak. I was literally like, I'm going to do daily vlogs. But it got to a point. So I'm getting like three, 4,000 views a video. And I was starting to run out of ways to make them clickbait. Like I couldn't get people, you know what I mean? That's not like on YouTube. That's not bad. That's okay. You know, I gained some some subscribers, got to like 20,000 subs. But the, but the issue is it took so much energy and effort and I could just post one thing on Instagram and get like a couple clients for coaching and I could um, not have to put in any effort and get a bunch of comments and engagement and likes. 
could even go viral with the transformation we take back then. Now it's much, you know, it's in the algorithm organic growth is really low on Instagram now compared to what it was in 2017, 18. But um, my whole point was I have like 400 something videos on, on, on YouTube and I couldn't ever get not even one of them to go viral. Or, but that, that might just be more on the fact that I was just providing the same consistent type of content and I wasn't doing any like stupid food challenges. I wasn't <laughs> doing any like yes. hockey one chip challenge. I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't going kind of outside of the box, but I also didn't want to. I just feel like that was disingenuous, you know, but I don't know, man, maybe I need to come up with some like Mr. Beast style <laughs> uh, working out for 24 hours straight. Yo, six pack abs. You know what I mean? I hate so, oh, no, no. What, what am I saying? Six pack abs. Who, uh, who's, the, who's the guy? Six who pack had- shortcut. Mike six Chen. pack short that's the one that's the one you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> he, he he disappeared but um he sold his company actually the scoop is um and he made hell of money and they it's still a company i don't know if they changed the name of it or whatever but i mean he cashed out i can't really blame him i mean i can't blame him because it was like it's corny you know the afterburn and all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah yeah i'm actually uh I'm actually a very lazy guy <laughs> you know you say, yeah, you yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious man that Everyone's guy I, you know, those commercials Dude, 2012, man. That was like the 2012, 11. Yeah. Like, that was the era of all that. It's hilarious. Even um, uh, Vince Del Monte, Tommy, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah of course. I, yeah. I actually talk to him uh, every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Um, awesome, man. So, and, and his content, but, you know, talk to him every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Matt and I were prepping simultaneously under the same group of coaches. I was with Jeff Galbert's. Um, another popular one is Alberto Nunez and then Eric Helms. And then there's one more, uh, Brad Loomis. But uh, they would have meetups for people that weren't in the area. And uh, it was at the gym in Sacramento. 